What's going on guys? It's your boy DPJ here today with another Destiny video and today I have some quote legitimate inside source contact leaks Destiny 2 information. But before we get into the video, if you guys do enjoy it, leaving a like is much appreciated. Can we reach 4,000 likes? That would be absolutely epic if we could. Also, if you guys missed a post on Reddit of where this information came from, I will link that in the video description too if you do want to check it out. Now, basically, someone posted, I think it was yesterday, by the name of quote, quote, inside leaker. That to me already looks dodgy. He dropped some information on Reddit regarding Destiny 2 and what he claimed was from a legitimate inside source contact from Bungie. Now I'll read through what this guy states on Reddit and I'll give you guys my opinion on it. Okay, so I'm quoting the guy right now. I am in close contact with a Bungie employee currently working on Destiny 2 in some capacity. That is the sole source of this information. Take it with all the grain of salt you'd like. Getting into it and what he states about Destiny 2, they are not completely rebooting our characters. My source described it as a clean slate, but not a full wipe. Apparently our Guardian will still retain their memories, accomplishments, etc. up to this point, but we will not carry over any gear, weapons and items. There will be three new subclasses from the jump. The existing classes will be reworked, including new abilities, perks and visual effects. The game may face a delay into quarter 1, 2018. My source didn't get too specific, but hinted that they are having some issues with the new engine that they are using, and possibly some hang-ups regarding narration slash staff. It will be 60 frames per second. Powers of the Darkness will be introduced into gameplay. My source didn't elaborate on this. Raids will be bigger, longer, and much more interesting in terms of mechanics moving forward. Ships will no longer be cosmetic only, no further details given. They are implementing some kind of transmogrification feature. It will be on PC, a UI overhaul, more customization features coming. Eververse will not be as prominent as it is now. Zer will play a new role in the overreaching story. The speaker will be central to the main storyline. New non guardian races will be introduced. And that's all this dude states his source gave him. So let's go back and take a closer look. This guy's name is Inside Leaker. I mean, that asks questions. That begs attention before we've even got into the damn post. Inside Leaker? With a name like that, nobody's going to take you seriously. I, I mean, it's just... That, 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 that killed it for me before we even got into the damn post. But still, reading through some of the information he states. He states the game will be on... PC, which we already know about, he states the game will be in 60 frames per second. I mean, if this is a next gen only game, PS4, PC, and Xbox One only, if this game don't run in 60 frames per second, I will cut my dick off. He states that there will be three new subclasses, but no further information was given. He states that the old existing subclasses will be reworked. Raids will be bigger, longer, and much more interesting, which should be the case considering it's a sequel. Zer and the speaker will basically play new roles. Ships will no longer be cosmetic only, and new non-guardian races will be introduced. I mean, if you go back through Reddit over the past six months, all of what this guy stated in his post has already been mentioned on previous posts. It's like he's gone back through the past six months of Reddit, he's jotted down the best points and ideas people have made and put them all into one big post. I mean, there's actually nothing new here in terms of information. I mean, like, obviously raids are going to be bigger, obviously there are going to be new subclasses, obviously it will run in 60 frames per second, obviously it's coming to PC, we already know these things. There will be new customization. that's obvious as well. It's a new game and there's been so much information and speculation about them rebooting our characters and just like this guy stated I've seen this and read it a million times before there's no new information here in my opinion the legitimate inside source contact at least gives us something to speculate about is it going to be a cabal theme story or is that going to be a main attraction to this game is it going to be a cabal raid give us something we want to know don't give us points and ideas other people have already made months ago this to me is just a massive cry for attention nothing more it's nothing more than a guy trolling Inside leaker my ass. What seriously killed it for me though as well is the fact he said Eververse will not be as prominent. The way he's kind of staying it is is though he's trying to overhype Destiny 2, which is nothing more than what this post is. 
basically what I mean here is saying Eververse will not be as prominent is basically saying that microtransactions will not be as prominent in Destiny 2 as what they are in Destiny 1 now. This in my opinion is completely false. The way Destiny 2 has built up now, microtransactions are a massive part and it's a major source of revenue for the game for both Activision and Bungie, they're not just going to completely eliminate it, they will probably rework it to suit us like they did with the, I mean like the dawning wasn't perfect but it was a lot better than the shitty event we got before, I mean if they rework it, it can be fine but there's no way they're going to get rid of microtransactions, I mean whether they keep it cosmetic only, who knows but I can guarantee you microtransactions will be in Destiny 2 and this is what this guy states about Eververse not being as prominent is nothing more than trying to overhype Destiny 2, trying to get us excited for it, which is nothing more than what this post is. I mean, like we ain't already excited for Destiny 2 already, we don't need shit like this. This, in my opinion, is nothing more than a cry for attention. A troll doing his best to troll absolutely everybody, and I ain't falling for it. Now, I don't know about you guys, I mean, I'm already hyped for Destiny 2. I love Destiny 1, I don't need more hype for Destiny 2. I ain't falling for this bullshit. But what do you guys think about this? Let me know down below in that comments section. Until I see a legitimate something new, an image or something like that, I don't believe in what people are posting. Unless it comes from someone who's built up credit within the Destiny community, I don't believe in nothing. But let me know your opinion on it down below in that comments section. Hope you guys enjoyed the video. Thanks as always for stopping by and I'll catch you guys on that next one. Always in the wrong.